Hi, Paul Akers. Today we're going to go over the GlueBot, one of my favorite products and one of FastCap's first products and one of FastCap's most popular products. So come on in and we're going to go over all the details, show you all the features and benefits and why the GlueBot is such a great product. So when you go into your local distributor, Lumberyard, this is what you're going to see. The GlueBot, you have the large one and then you have the BayBot, which is the little tiny one. This is great for small detail work and it comes with all the extra accessories. You have the guide here, you have the Yorker tip and the blade tip and the cap and it comes in a little pack. So this is what you can expect to see in your local distributor. So this is the glue bot and this is the bay bot and this is with glue in it obviously as you can see. And what we did when we designed this is we took an average glue bottle and we said well how can we make this a better vehicle to dispense glue? Well number one this thing falls over all the time because it's got a small base. So what do we do? We put a bigger base in the bottom so it balances nicely. Number two you got glue all over the tip all the time. That's a mess so we solved that problem by having a bottom feed system where when you squeeze it, it pushes the glue up and then when you dispense it back in or let off, it sucks the glue back in so the tip's not getting dirty. Number three, we thought about filling it. Filling it's always a pain in the butt. Well, we haven't got the glue spout on the lid for filling it, so it's not gonna get glue all over it. So when it comes time to fill it, you simply twist that off and now you have a large fill area which makes it very, very simple to fill your glue bot with no problems. You can do it really quickly and there's just no struggle. So those are three of the main benefits right off the bat to why the glue bot and the glue bot and baby bot system are just so awesome is they're just easy to use. So one of the most distinctive features about the glue bot besides its shape is the fact that the glue travels from the bottom of the bottle goes up this stem and is dispensed out to this tip. When you pressurize this chamber, it puts the glue up through here. The reason why that's so cool is because when you want to glue a vertical surface, it's the only glue bottle in the world that will do this. Vertically, you don't even have to tip the bottle. But then when you let off, it sucks the glue back in. So what happens there is your tip's not always dirty. Then we did the next great thing, is we made a cap that goes right over the top of it, and the cap has a great place to be stored right there. So it's very simple to use the basic operation of the glue bot. So the Babe Bot is exactly the same thing, but only it's very, very small. So it allows you to do that really precise precision work. Look how nice that glue line is. If you just need to do small little detail, a little dental work, you can't do a better job with this. And then of course you've got the cap. You put the cap right back on there and you're done. We have two kinds of tips. We have the Yorker style, which is a pointy tip, and the blade style, which is a flat tip for doing a wide bead or a pointy or thin bead with the Yorker tip. Now, both the large glue bot and the baby bot come with both different size tips in the original packaging, or the nice thing is you can actually get all these accessories separately packed in five packs. So we have a new retaining ring, a lid if you happen to need that, you have a five pack of the Yorkers, you have a five pack of the blades, you have caps, and you even have our guide system, which I'm going to show you that in a minute. And the same thing applies to the baby bot with the exception of the guide system. So now let's go over the guide system. You're going to love that one. So this is the glue bot guide right here, this red device here that looks like two fingers. And it fits right into the top of the retaining ring, just like this. So now let's put one on and I'll show you how that works. So as you can see how this works, this simply twists into there and locks like that. So once you've got that into there, then we're going to go ahead and put our blade tip right through there or the Yorker, whatever tip you want. And then we're going to put it back on to the glue bot and we're going to screw it on. Now when we do this, we want to make sure that those little retaining rings, we've got to kind of hold it a little bit when we twist it in and make sure we get it lined up just right. And there it is. So now we're ready to go and I'll show you why this is such a great product. So let's say you want to put a bead down this board and you want that bead right in the center so you don't have a bunch of time spending spreading it and making it even. If you put the guide system over there, it keeps that, that tip right in the center. You see how that works? And then you can make a perfect bead right down the center every time. And this saves a ton of time and causes gluing to be very consistent. So now let's say you want to do a much smaller board. Let's say you have a production run. This is a great tool for high production and you want to get the tips actually to work on this board. Well, it's actually very easy. All you need to do is heat this up in hot water, bend these tips in, and then go ahead and use it. I'll show you how you do that right now. So all I'm going to do is put this under hot water like this, really hot water, this is boiling hot water, and make sure that this plastic gets nice and soft. Just for a second, it doesn't take too long. 
and then simply take these arms like this and bend them in. That's centering it. Then go ahead and put them under some cold water real quick to cool the plastic back off. And you've quickly reshaped the distance and space between it. Then when you go up to the new board, it should work perfectly. Okay, there you go. We're ready to go. So now that we've got this bent to the right distance, all we do is put it over the board like that and begin to dispense the glue and then pull it out nice and evenly to the bead width that we want. And there you go. It's that simple. So let's say you want to do a much wider board and you've already got these adjusted. Just grab them, bend it back out. They're very flexible. You may have a real flexible material. Get them a little wider. Okay, so now we've got it to the right width of this board. And again, it's nicely centered and you can get that perfect bead right down the center of the board with no hassle. So the first thing you want to do once you get your tip installed is you got to cut off to the correct size. So I take a little cut like that and then I'll try it and make sure that it does just what I want. Oh, that's way too small. Okay, I'm very precise. No other glue bottle will do that. And then you just start clipping it down until you get the size that you want to work with. Maybe that's the size bead you want to make. Or maybe you want to make a bigger one. You clip it down to the exact size that you want to make, or maybe you want a whole lot of glue to come out. Just like this. Any size you want, fast and easy with the glue bot. And of course, notice how the tip is always remaining clean because the glue gets sucked back inside. So even with these big wide beads, see how that sucked that back in? Pretty cool, isn't it? That's the advantage of the glue bot, a wide bottom, bottom feeding, replaceable tips, a wide mouth. This product is awesome and I think you're really gonna love it.